What's up, everybody? This is Eric Media's Computer Solutions. So I've been having a problem uh, using CamLink. As you know, CamLink is a device that you can plug up into your PC and you can live stream using your DSLR. Well, I got Canon cameras and I've been having an issue with every 30 minutes, my Canon cameras will cut off. I'm also using OBS. And so between OBS, the CamLink and my DSLR and my computer, my DSLR cuts off every 30 minutes in the middle of me live streaming. I've been researching and trying to figure out how to fix this and I finally figured it out and I'm going to share this with you today. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use cam link along with your computer to stream past 30 minutes using your DSLR. Now I've been using Canon cameras. I don't know if this applies to Sony, but for Canon cameras, I'm going to show you how it's done. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. All right, guys, this is Eric back with another video. So let's go on and set this up. I'm gonna go step by step. This is the cam link. This is the part that goes to the PC uh, that you're already using. Uh, this part goes to the camera. I have my Canon camera here, which I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. And I was making some fatal mistakes here, but let's go through it. So we have this part out the way. Now, another crucial part of this process is gonna be your micro, uh, USB to USB. Did you need this cord right here? And again, there's some mistakes that you can make by using this cord. All right, so you need these two components that makes this happen. Also, uh, you have to go on Canon website. All right, so you have to go on Canon website. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to record my screen. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on Canon's website. What you want to do is you want to go to support drivers and downloads. Then uh, you want to go to your cameras right here, e EOS Rebel Digital Cameras or whatever camera you have. Now I'm doing this for the, uh, the SL3. So I want to click here and once you open up this menu, you can, you can download any drivers or any software here in this menu. So as you can see, all the cameras that Canon has that's available in the EOS system right here. So what you got to do is since I'm using the SL3, I go to the SL3 because you have to download the Utility 3 software. This is going to be very important. So what you got to do is go to Drivers and Downloads and you want to go to Software and Software right here, you need to download EOS Utility 3 dot 11 dot zero for windows now as of me recording this video uh the last update was 11 7 of 19. now they may have a newer update so if you're watching this video and they have a latest update that's the one you want to download so once you select it you download it once you download it it will look like this on my home screen now, I will always recommend everybody to download the Digital Photo Professional 4 because you could edit your raw files. All right, so this is my home screen. Now, the next thing I have to do is just go on to make your connections. And I wanna show you guys this, and I'm gonna show you some pros and cons on how this works. Uh, let's go to connect my cam link to my camera. As you can see, cam link goes in the camera. Just like you always did it, it's nothing new here. So let's go and connect it here. And we're going to connect the cam link to the PC, USB. All right, done. All right, next thing you want to do is you want to get a data cord. This is a lot of mistakes that we made here that I made. I was using micro USB for charging only and the device did not recognize it. So you have to get a data cord because the other cords would not work. And you have to have a long enough cord if you have your camera a far distance from you uh, when you're recording. So you have to have a long cord and it has to be a sync cable, not a charge cable, it has to be a sync cable. This is the most important part of this whole process is this micro USB cable, believe it or not. All right, so let's connect this.
All right, so connecting it to your camera, like so, boom. All right, so for this to work, you have to connect this USB to your PC. All right, so once you have all this connected, kind of move this right here, now we have to turn on the camera. Once you turn on the camera, you go hear the noise on your PC. There it is. And now the utility software will automatic open on your computer. I was making a big mistake by using OBS when I was live streaming, but you don't have to use OBS. You can use the Canon software, the utility software to make this happen. All right, so what you want to do is go to remote shooting. Okay, now here we go right here. When you see this menu right here, you want to go to right here, it says live view shoot. And that's it. And this is the most important part of this process. Once you connect your data cord and your cam link to your computer, this is what you're going to see. But no worries when you're looking at this on the screen, because once you go into a, another software, you won't see this. Right now, I have it on, uh, um, on auto focus, and you can change it to manual focus if you want. So if you change it to manual focus, you won't see it here. You can manual focus to anything that you want. If you put it on auto focus, you will see the lines. The lines is, is trying to find a focus point. So no worries there. But once you go into your uh, software, just say, I want to go to my stream yard to stream. Once I go into stream yard and I set up my live stream, and once I set up my live stream and I enter broadcast, right? Now it's going to uh, look for the software which boom, there it goes. And once you see the software and I can enter uh, in my broadcast and now here I am right there. And as you can see, it will auto focus right there without all the digital stuff that's on the screen. So you can use manual focus or you can use auto focus in this method right here. And you could go beyond 30 minutes because your camera would not go off at the 30 minute point. So this is very important. And uh, one of the things that you really have to pay attention to is making sure you have a data cord that's long enough to go from where you at to uh, the camera and make sure that you got your cam link connected as long as it can to the camera also. So the two connections work intertwined with each other and it connects to the Canon camera and now you can use it uh, for longer than 30 minutes when you live streaming. All right, this is Eric from Music Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this recording over 30 minutes in all this glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.